Hi everybody, this is Amy and I'm going to talk you through um, how to do a good internal linking structure on WordPress. So what I've done is I've just logged into my WordPress for this Tech Reviews website. Um, it's a simple technology website that uh, reviews products and gives top tens. So you've got examples of wearable tech, smart home ideas, we've got some mobile phone reviews, best smart watches under a grand. And um, make sure that when you go into your screen options, um, you want to, I actually want to tick key phrase as well, and then you also want to have internal links there. So I'll tick that. Apply. And when you apply that, um, if you scroll down and have a look at all of your published posts, you have these here. Um, this one is number number of outgoing internal links. So linking from this blog to another blog. And this is um, internal links coming into this post. So other internal links coming from other blogs to this one. So where I've got numbers here, that means there's two um, there's two outbound internal links and there's, there's one incoming internal link. So this blog, Benefits of a Fitbit, is already linking to two other blogs and it's got another blog linking to it. And you want to have that for every single blog that you've got. You do not want to blog with zeros, i.e. this blog here, Smart Home Ideas, has got nothing linking to it. And we call that an orphan page. Um, it's orphan because it's it's not got any internal links directing to that article. So we want to basically work our way through and get rid of all of the zeros. So if I just click in Smart Home Ideas first and have a look at this blog. So your blog, uh, the blog we're looking at here is Smart Home Ideas. We'll just close a few other tabs because we've got quite a lot of tabs open. So we're in that Smart Home Ideas blog right now and I'm going to scroll down. You can see that we've got some product links here. Usually I put um, an internal link at the end of the post. So I'm just going to check. There's your Yoast SEO. Yeah, so I've linked to Smart Home Articles. I'm just wondering if there's anything else that I could link to. So what I might do, <clears throat> if I just go to the website, techreviews.co.uk, um, it's not got many links, so I'm going to find something to link to it. Um, we'll just have a look at Smart Home and see what there is so far. There might not be that many. Yeah, so there's not that many there. Um, so I perhaps want to find something else. I might link to wearable tech. Benefits of a Fitbit, I'll link to that. So it's not quite smart home, but it's relevant. It would be better if I could link to the Google Nest or something like that, but we've not published those ones yet. Um, Ah, smartphone. I could actually link to smartphones as well. So what I usually do is go to the end and add a sentence, um, something like, you can read, like what you can also also read about benefits of a Fitbit here. And then I'll link to benefits of a Fitbit, so I'll highlight that and I'll add an internal link and I'll update that. So I've got another internal link there and I also saw another place I could do an internal link which was smartphone. 
Um, let's go here back to the website. And I've got phones. And I'm just going to link that category. So that's a, an internal link to another category. Add the link, drop that in, and I'll update. And we can also go in and see what it looks like. There's our smart home ideas. Here we are. Yeah, we've got internal and external links, which is exactly what we want. So once you've made sure that you've got some internal links from your article to others, you then need to make sure that something else links to this, which I don't think it does. So let's go back to the posts and uh, Remember, we're working with published. You see that benefits of a Fitbit's got one linking to it again, so that's gone up because we've linked to that. Here's smart home ideas. So we've now got four links, okay? So I've just upped the internal links in that blog, but now I need to link two smart home ideas from something else. So I need to get my URL smart home ideas and then I need to choose another blog to link to it and I'm thinking of using examples of wearable technology try and keep link internal links within that category if you can but in this case because it's quite a new blog um, I'm not able to do that just yet but ideally I'd be linking smartphones to smartphones TVs to TVs like that. So I'm going to scroll right to the end of wearable tech. You see I've got a bit of a conclusion but I've not got anything else so then I'll add the same sentence here again. You might also like to read about and then I'm going to put smart home ideas. Link to that. Oops. update that. So now when we go back to the posts that shouldn't have any zeros. We've got links to it and links from it. Internal links that is. Remember your internal links are linking to this website. Whereas external links are links that go to other people's websites or different websites. So now if we scroll to Smart Home Ideas do you see the zeros are all gone now? And then what I would do is look for more of them. Yeah, I've got one there and one there that I need to get rid of. So these, we need something to link to Oppo A72 smartphone review. And we've got another Oppo there. So why don't we just go into that Oppo A9 review. And from that A9 review, link to the A72 review. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm making sure that they're connected articles. So in the A9 review, let's scroll to the bottom and we want to link to the A72 review. So we're linking from one Oppo Smart Review to the other. It's a Chinese manufacturer of smartphones if you don't know Oppo. Um, okay, so we simply go on the end of this blog and we put um, if you found this blog helpful, you might also like to read this and then we put Oppo A72 smart phone review. Going to do the link now. Okay, the link is there. 
I'm on a Mac, so I'm just uh, copying and pasting, by the way. Um, I'll update that. That's updating. Go back here. Go into my published blogs. And then when I scroll down, the zeros should be gone. And the zero is gone. So what you're looking to do is go through all of the previous published articles and the, the bigger your website, the longer or the bigger the task is going to be, right? Because here we've only got one page. Sometimes you're going to see five or six or even 10 or 11 pages that you're going to have to go through. So I'd also add a link to Best Compact Camera for Travel because I've got a zero there. I would also look for any more zeros. I've got one here on this Edifier spe uh, Edifa speaker review. So I would link to that from something else music related. And by then, I would have got through all of my zeros. And when you've got to the point where you've got no zeros, you've then um, adequately improved your internal linking structure. And that will have a positive impact on your on-page SEO. I hope that was helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, please get in touch.